Good morning, friends, and happy Saturday. Today we're going to look at Isaiah chapter 6 and 7 and 8, and also 2 Kings chapter 16 and 2 Chronicles chapter 28. Um, chapter 6 begins with, in the year King Uzziah died. Now, Uzziah, if you remember, he was a um, king that started off good, but he did not end well. And the Lord struck him with leprosy, and he had to live in his separate house. And his son, Jotham, actually ruled for a while under his kingship. And then when Uzziah died, Jotham took over the throne. Not a lot is said about Jotham. In fact, in Isaiah chapter 6, we're going to come back to that in a moment about what happened and what uh, Isaiah saw in uh, Isaiah chapter 6. But uh, we don't have a whole lot of information about Jotham other than he reigned 16 years and he was not a great king. Uh, but we do have some information about Ahaz, that is Jotham's son. Uh, the scripture tells us, in fact, uh, uh, Isaiah uh, tells us uh, 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 in chapter 7 and chapter 8, he gives us some information uh, about, uh, uh, you, uh, uh, excuse me, about Ahaz's reign. And um, I just want to look, Ahaz was a very wicked man. He actually sacrificed his own sons uh, uh, to other gods. And he also saw a god or some gods in Damascus and had them make some just like them in, in Jerusalem. And so uh, Isaiah addressed this issue. Uh, in we look at... Uh, Isaiah chapter 7, verse number 10, and the Lord told Isaiah, or told Ahaz through Isaiah, he says, um, ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask. I will not ask the Lord. So the Lord says, you won't ask. I'm going to give you a sign anyway. And we see in verse 14, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Well, we've heard that before in the New Testament, speaking of Jesus and Jesus when he was born. It's so basically what God is saying to Ahaz. He says, you ask for a sign, I'm going to give you a sign anyway. Ahaz never saw that come to pass, obviously. But God, uh, uh, he gave him a sign anyway, a sign of hope uh, in Jesus. Jesus, Emmanuel. But what I really want to look at this morning, just for a few moments, is I want to back up to Isaiah chapter number six, when it says, in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Now, have you ever had things in your life that you will never forget? You'll never forget where you were, what you were doing when that particular happen, thing happened. Uh, and personally, I remember... Uh, all the way back when I was, I think, around six years old and hearing the news that President Kennedy was assassinated. I remember I was getting out of school, elementary school right here in Askeville when I heard the news. And that was something that stuck with me. Even as a child, I knew it was a very, very important uh, event in the history of our nation. And, and it was a tragic thing. I remember right at my back door of my house when I got the news of the Space Shuttle Challenger when it exploded. Uh, I remember where I was in Windsor uh, in a van when I uh, riding down the road when I got the phone call from our secretary about the World Trade Centers uh, being attacked. I remember these things that are specifically where I was and what I was doing whenever these uh, big events took place, many of them tragic. Well, in this particular case, Isaiah specifies where he was at and what he saw when he saw the Lord. This was an awesome thing. And he says, in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. This is verse one. He was sitting uh, upon a throne high and lifted up and the train of his robe filled the temple. And Isaiah goes on and describes what he saw. I want to say this to you, my friends, that in a spiritual sense, there are events in our life and things in our life that we can have, experiences in our life that we can have that we will never forget. And I can tell you, if you get a glimpse of God, if you get a glimpse of Jesus, if you get a glimpse of his power and you experience his presence, 
It'll be something that you will never forget the rest of your life. Just like in my case, the, the uh, World Trade Center or the, the, the assassination of the president or the, or, or, or the Challenger explosion, those are events in my life that I'll never forget. But more so than that, there are experiences spiritually in my life that I will never forget. I can tell you exactly where I was when God baptized me with his uh, Holy Spirit uh, over at the campgrounds in Windsor when I was 12 years old. And there are other experiences where I know God spoke to me. I want to say this to you, my friends, that God, when you get a glimpse of the Lord or you have a taste of his power, it'll be something that will go with you forever and you'll never forget it. Isaiah saw the Lord and he was high and lifted up and he gives us a glimpse of what he saw. And he says, it was the year Uzziah died, the year that he died from his leprosy, I saw the Lord that same year. We don't have any information from, from that moment to the time Ahaz came in chapter number seven of Isaiah. Uh, there was a the 16 years of, of, of Jotham's rule that we don't hear anything that, Ahaz, that, that Isaiah prophesied or he, he saw or whatever. Um, but uh, but, but uh, we know that this was an event that, that changed Isaiah's life. It was an event that, that meant so much. And he shares it that we have now, what, what he shared, what he saw. I want to tell you, it's my desire... It's my desire that I have a glimpse, another glimpse of who Jesus really is. And I want to see him. I want to see his glory. And I challenge you today that you too will seek to see his glory. Father, I want to thank you for our people today. Thank you, Lord, for again the opportunity, a wonderful Saturday you've given to us. And Lord, I pray that you will give us a new glimpse, a new vision, a new, uh, Lord, uh, enthusiasm and uh, experience of your presence. And we just thank you. Bless them today as we face our day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Now remember, tomorrow uh, is our first Sunday back in the in the sanctuary. And we've sent out phone trees. And if you're interested, we will have service at 8 o'clock at 9.30 and 11 o'clock, but we do have some uh, health guidelines we're going by that will be posted on the door. And if you're interested in coming in also in the parking lot at 9.30, we're going to have a speaker set up out in the side parking lot, and we will also be streaming Facebook Live at 9.30. And God bless you, and be back with us on Monday, same time. Bye-bye.